नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट इन यू वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्म The war in Ukraine has hit a stalemate. It's been like that for a while, but the West seems to be finally coming to terms with it. There is a new American assessment. It says Ukraine will not be able to retake any important city at least this year, even as Ukraine's pilots start training on the F-16s. Western leaders could be nudging Kiev towards a compromise because after more than 500 days of fighting, the world is feeling the impact of this frozen conflict. Food prices have shot up exponentially. India is contemplating importing wheat from Russia to tame inflation. In Pakistan, the cricket board is in hot water. It tried to wipe the memory of their only World Cup winning captain Imran Khan. The move has backfired. China is making deeper inroads in West Asia with new weapon deals. The militaries of West Asia are preparing to make an intervention West Africa rather, preparing to make an intervention in Niger and there is new death startup wave. A clutch of companies are now promising services to make funerals easier. We'll tell you all about it. The headlines first. U.S., Japan, and South Korea hold a trilateral summit. It's the first such event hosted by President Biden at Camp David. The focus was on defense, diplomacy, and tech. The leaders agreed to, to operate a hotline and pledged to confer closely in a crisis. U.S., Japan, and South Korea claim the grouping is not aimed at China. Kenya bans churches linked to cult deaths. Authorities have barred five churches, including that of a suspected cult leader. Paul McKenzie is accused of inciting his followers to starve themselves to death. Predominantly Christian Kenya has struggled to regulate churches and cults. A woman who posted rice and poison to Trump gets almost 22 years in jail the canadian citizen sent a threatening letter to donald trump at the white house in 2020 the letter contained the poison it was intercepted before it could reach the white house a giant gargoyle like statue creates a storm in thailand's capital it's a huge black statue of an emaciated winged figure with golden fangs its sudden appearance On a busy Bangkok street has triggered alarm authorities have launched an investigation after many people called for its removal. And Paris bans pony rides for children from 2025 kids cannot go on pony rides in the public parks of the French capital animal rights activists had objected to these rides saying the ponies were ill treated. <laughs> 